The lightsabers of the Jedi come in a number of distinct and diverse colors. Although blue and green bladed lightsabers are the most common colors of lightsaber wielded by the Jedi, their lightsabers also include the colors yellow, white, and purple. This stands in direct contrast to the lightsabers wielded by the Sith and other dark side users, whose lightsabers are uniformly red. Whether it's Darth Vader, Darth Maul, Asajj Ventress, Savage Opress, or the Inquisitors, these users of the dark side all wield red-bladed lightsabers. The color of a Jedi's lightsaber depended upon the kyber crystal that was used to power it, which concentrated energy into a plasma blade that was emitted from the weapon's hilt. Extremely rare within the galaxy, kyber crystals were attuned to the light side of the Force. Before they were located and chosen by a Jedi to be used within their lightsaber, kyber crystals were completely void of color. It wasn't until a Jedi chose the crystal that it gained its color, thereby resulting in a corresponding lightsaber blade that took on the color of the kyber crystal inside of it. The Sith and other dark side users also use these same kyber crystals utilized by the Jedi in the construction of their own lightsabers. But if the Jedi were provided with a large array of lightsaber colors resulting from these kyber crystals, why were the lightsaber colors of the Sith only red? And how was it that the Sith could use these kyber crystals in their lightsabers if they were naturally attuned to the light side of the Force? Because the kyber crystals were attuned to the light side, the crystals attempted to resist all efforts by the Sith and other dark side practitioners to use them in the construction of their lightsabers. Therefore, in order to make use of the crystals, the Sith had to put them through a process whereby they used the Force to dominate the will of the crystal and forced it to bend to their will. As described by Ahsoka Tano, the Sith would cause the crystal to become corrupted by the dark side. This procedure of bending the crystal to their will caused the kyber crystal to bleed, in the same way as if it were a mortal organism, and would result in providing the Sith with a lightsaber that had a red blade. However, even after the kyber crystal had become corrupted by the dark side and created a red-bladed lightsaber, the crystal could be healed and purified whereby it was once again inherently attuned to the light. For example, Ahsoka was able to restore the kyber crystals that had been corrupted by the Inquisitor, the Sixth Brother. After she freed the crystals and utilized them in her own lightsabers, the blades were no longer red. Rather, Ahsoka was rewarded with white-bladed lightsabers. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more Star Wars related content, including theories, discussions, and book reviews. Thank you for watching and for the support.